Hello students, today in Jab, we are going to talk about a detailed conversation about what exactly are the changes taking place in animal cell as well as plant cells during interphase and division phase that is M phase. Today we will be taking M as mitotic phase because we are talking about mitosis. If you have missed out the video on cell cycle, I will attach it in the description box below. Click the link to have a better idea about this video. So let's get started. Before the cell can enter into division phase, cell obviously has to pass through something called as interphase, in which cell prepares itself to undergo division. Kya kya karta hai? Protein synthesis, RNA synthesis, mitochondria, replication, the very, very, very important thing, DNA replication. DNA replication. So, if you see the cell from outside in interface, you will not exactly see any specific changes because cell to ek hi has students, but uske andar cheeze kitne cells ki hai? Do. Because the cell is preparing itself to undergo division and equal distribution of each and everything in both the daughter cells. So cell A hai but contains two cell ke. So everything is going to enlarge and everything will become big to prominent. So in interface, this is my animal cell, this is my plant cell. How to distinguish between them? Obviously in nice standard plant cells have a cell wall, animal cell doesn't have a cell wall. Plant cells have something called a centrosome and sorry guys. Animal cell has something called a centrosome and plant cell doesn't have centrosome. So, two difference. Plant cell ke paas cell wall hai and plant cell ke paas centrosome nahi hai. Animal cell ke paas cell wall nahi hai but centrosome hai. So, from now on I will be writing AC for animal cell and PC for plant cell. What changes? This is your cell membrane. This is your nucleus. So, nucleus enlarges. Nucleus enlarges because the DNA replication has taken place. Multiply ho chuka hai DNA, double up ho chuka hai DNA for equal distribution of the genetic material in the daughter cells. Your nucleolus, that is a darkly stained body inside the nucleus, also becomes prominent. Your nucleolus also becomes prominent. And your chromatin fibers also become prominent. So these are the similar changes in plant and animal cell. What are the changes? Nucleus enlarges. Nucleus enlarges. Your nucleolus becomes prominent. And your chromatin fibers also become prominent. In animal cell only, centrosome becomes prominent. Centrosome, board question, location and function. Ninth standard may be kiya hua hai students. So first I will talk about location. It is a darkly stained body with two centrioles close to the nucleus in the cytoplasm of animal cell. Close to the nucleus in the cytoplasm of animal cell. Function of centrosome or centriole is to initiate and regulate cell division in animal cell. To initiate and regulate cell division in animal cell. Don't get confused between centrosome and chromosome. Chromosome are the genetic material. Centrosome is a cell organic in animal cell only. So this is it about interface students. Interface now, this after interface cell is ready for cell division. We are going to talk about which cell division out here, mitosis. The 2N which I have taken is 2. 2N bola matlab the total number of chromosomes in the given cell. So for my cell, the total number of chromosomes is 2. Mitosis or as students, so how many daughter cells will be produced? 2. And daughter cells will have equal number of chromosomes as that of parent cell. So at the end of this division, we want two daughter cells with two chromosomes each because apna 2N is equal to 2. Mitosis, chalu ho gaya, M phase. First what is going to divide is nucleus. So the first thing that we are going to talk about is karyokinesis. Karyokinesis further 
डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर सब स्टेजेस पी मैट याद रखने बोला था स्टूडेंट्स पी से क्या था प्रोफेस सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन प्रोफेस लेट्स डिस्कस प्रोफेस इज द लॉन्गेस्ट फेज ऑफ कैरियोकाइनेसिस स्टूडेंट लॉन्गेस्ट फेज ऑफ कैरियोकाइनेसिस इज प्रोफेस व्हाट आर द चेंजेस टेकिंग प्लेस न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन डिसअपियर्स न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन डिसअपियर्स न्यूक्लियोलस डिसअपियर्स न्यूक्लियोलस डिसअपियर्स योर क्रोमैटिन फाइबर्स कंडेंस इनटू क्रोमोसोम्स क्रोमैटिन फाइबर्स कंडेंस इनटू क्रोमोसोम्स एंड स्पिंडल फाइबर्स आर फॉर्म्ड एंड स्पिंडल फाइबर्स आर फॉर्म्ड in animal cell only centrioles move towards opposite poles centrioles move towards opposite poles giving rise to something called as esters from outside and spindle fibers from inside so let's redo it students prophase may nuclear membrane disappears nucleolus disappears your chromatin fibers condense into chromosome and spindle fibers are formed in animal cells only centrioles move towards opposite poles giving rise to esters from outside and spindle fibers from inside esters from outside spindle fibers from inside you need to know the diagram students the labelings and everything is very important because each phase from prophase till telophase can come as a diagram based question in your icse board paper for 5 marks students so what is the function of asters and why is aster present only in animal cell and not in plant cell now Asters का function is to provide cytoskeleton. Is to provide cytoskeleton means what? It is going to keep your cell stretched during cell division. It will not let animal cell collapse during cell division. Plant cell collapse होता है क्या मैम? No, plant cell doesn't collapse because it already has cell wall which will prevent the cell from collapsing. इसीलिए एस्टर्स की जरूरत ओनली इन एनिमल्स है प्लांट सेल्स को जरूरत नहीं दैट इज व्हाई एस्टर इज नॉट सीन इन प्लांट सेल एनिमल सेल डिवीजन में एस्टर दिखता है इसीलिए इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एस्ट्रल सेल डिवीजन प्लांट सेल डिवीजन में एस्टर नहीं दिखता इसीलिए इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एन एस्ट्रल सेल डिवीजन द सेकंड स्टेज ऑफ कैरियोकाइनेसिस इन माइटोसिस इज मेटा फेज so what are the changes taking place in the cell during metaphase metaphase it is very simple students chromosomes align themselves along the equatorial plane chromosomes align themselves along the equatorial plane so movement you see chromosomes aligned along the equatorial plane that is in the midline of your cell definitely the phase is metaphase the third phase of karyokinesis is anaphase anaphase is the shortest phase of karyokinesis the longest one was yes prophase now what is actually going to happen in anaphase first i will start my explanation from the metaphase so prophase mein nuclear membrane disappear ho gaya tha spindle fibers were already formed the spindle fibers got attached to the chromosome at a point called centromere yes prophase ka the chromosomes align themselves along the equator metaphase aa gaya now spindle fibers are attached to which part of the chromosome the green The, the blue uh, circle students that is centromere now spindle fibers from this pole are attached to centromere as well as the spindle fibers from this pole are also attached to the same centromere out here now the spindle fibers are going to start contracting spindle fibers are going to start contracting 
when they start contracting the pressure will be built up where students yes the pressure will be built up in centromere and as a result of which your centromere is going to break students because of action of contracting spindle fibers your centromere is going to break moment your centromere breaks two sister chromatids will be separated so moment you see chromatids instead of chromosome it is definitely anaphase anaphase may you will see sister chromatids which are pulled towards opposite poles due to action of contracting spindle fibers i repeat it again students anaphase may your centromere breaks separating two sister chromatids which are pulled towards opposite poles due to action of contracting spindle fibers so this is your spindle fibers centromere your chromatid so two chromatids will be pulled in this pole and other two chromatids will be pulled in other pole this is your animal cell this is your plant cell chromatid bola matlab anaphase chromosomes along the equator bola matlab metaphase disappearing nuclear membrane bola matlab propase the last stage of karyokinesis is telophase p math students pro ho gaya meta ho gaya ana ho gaya now we are doing telophase that is the last phase of karyokinesis if you know prophase telophase will is damn easy because it is bang opposite of prophase okay so let's see what happens here um nuclear membrane reappears prophase mein nuclear membrane disappears yahan pe nuclear membrane reappears second nucleolus reappears so nucleolus reappears prophase mein bola tha nucleolus disappears The third point is chromatids. Anaphase हुआ था. Chromatids towards the opposite poles. Now chromatids decondense into chromatin fibers. Pro में बोला था. Chromatin fibers condense into chromosome. यहाँ पे chromatid decondense into chromatin fibers. इसके बाद spindle fibers disappear two nuclei are formed your karyokinesis is complete so telophase mein nuclear membrane reappears nucleolus reappears spindle fibers disappears chromatids decondense into chromatin fibers two nuclei form karyokinesis complete after karyokinesis what is going to happen students cytokinesis you want your cytoplasm to divide it giving rise to two daughter cells now an important line students pay attention cytokinesis begins right from late anaphase right from late anaphase your cytokinesis is going to begin but it will become prominent in telophase it begins from anaphase becomes prominent in telophase so how the cytokinesis takes place in animal cell and plant cell let's take a look animal cell may your cytokinesis takes place by furrow formation takes place by furrow formation and in plant cell your cytokinesis takes place by cell plate formation plate will go towards the periphery giving rise to two daughter cells yahan pe furrow will deepen giving rise to two daughter cells that is end of your division mitosis two daughter cells form both diploid in nature now a quick review we will go from prophase till telophase prophase mein nuclear membrane disappears nucleolus disappears your chromatin fibers condense into chromosome and spindle fibers are formed in animal cell only centrioles move towards opposite poles giving rise to asters from outside and spindle fibers from inside the second phase is metaphase 
मेटाफेज में क्रोमोसोम्स अलाइन देम सेल्स अलोंग द इक्वेटोरियल प्लेन देन द थर्ड इज एनाफेज एनाफेज में सेंट्रोमियर ब्रेक्स सेपरेटिंग टू सिस्टर क्रोमैटिड्स व्हिच आर पुल टुवर्ड्स ऑपोजिट पोल्स ड्यू टू एक्शन ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग स्पिंडल फाइबर्स द लास्ट इज टीलोफेज एग्जैक्ट ऑपोजिट ऑफ प्रोफेज यहां पे न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन reappears nucleolus reappears chromatids decondenses into chromatin fibers spindle fibers disappear two nuclei form karyokinesis complete cytokinesis in animal cell is by furrow formation and in plant cell it is by cell plate formation i hope that the cell division concept is clear for you guys any Or other concept that you find difficult and you want me to take it, you can post it in the comment section below. The majority, I will go with the majority and take the concept which is tedious for many of you. Till then, stop fishing, start doing, you guys. To know how much you all have actually understood, take up this test, please. So there are three diagrams given: one, two, and three. I want you all to identify the stage in which the cell is one, two, and three, and also label parts A, B, C, D. Try and solve the questions on your own. I will be linking the answers below in the description box. Thank you.